channel for another video. It's Coupons with Abby. Happy Publix Thursday. So we actually just got back home from Publix. It was a wild, wild time. So I am filming my intro at home and Elmo's in the background with me. <laughs> Elmo's playing and the baby's not even here. He's asleep. So Elmo's just keeping me company, I guess. But we just got back from Publix. Like I said, it was a time in there because the baby is just not in a very good mood today, but we just got home about 10 minutes ago and he went straight down for a nap. So I feel like I can breathe finally and get this done. There was a couple of hiccups today, but overall I'm really happy with our haul that we gathered. It is also kind of a slower week at Publix, not too many deals sticking out to me, but we always make it work. It definitely wasn't, um, a small enough haul for me to not want to go altogether. Um, there was definitely some deals to be had. So we are going to go ahead and talk about those deals in store today. But first, if you are new, welcome. I'm so glad you found my channel. Please be sure to consider subscribing and hit that notification bell so you never miss another upload, as well as give the video a big thumbs up. So I will also have the printable list down in the description box if you guys are interested. And we're using all of the rebate apps today. So if you are new to any of the apps I mentioned, Fetch Rewards, Shopkicks, Swagbucks, I bought a Checkout 51. They are also down in my description box. If you guys would like to sign up for my referral code, it would mean so much to me. So let's go ahead, get into the store and talk about some of the deals we're grabbing at Publix okay, this My week. first deal is gonna be on some Galbani mozzarella. We're doing a Shopkick bundle. You can find this mozzarella in the deli section. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab two blocks, one of these smaller ones at $2.99 and then one of the larger ones at $5.49. So I'm gonna pay that out of pocket. There is some coupons floating around, like some peelies and um, blinkies, but I don't have any. But I'm gonna submit the Shopkick for 45 scan kicks for each product, and then 1,500 purchase kicks. So all those kicks total $6.36. And then I'll submit the checkout 51 for $2 back, which is a limit of one. And then to swag bucks for $2 back as well, being a limit of one, making both mozzarellas completely free and a $1.88 money maker. I'm gonna grab four of these Nor sides. You can grab whichever variety you want. They are $1.11 each. I'm gonna buy four for the sake of this printable coupon being $1 off of four North sides. I got this printable coupon being on the NOR email list. And then we're gonna use two one off two North sides extra savings book coupons that you guys can see advertised on the shelf. So I will go ahead and also submit to Fetch Rewards for 35 cents back for each two I buy, making all four of them just 74 cents or 19 cents a piece. Y'all, I have had so many brain farts this week and one being I am showing the wrong mashed potatoes. I was trying to show the Hungry Jack potatoes because they are a part of the extra savings book promotion where they are back to being a dollar each. And we do have $1 manufacturer coupons. Those come from the 117 Smart Source, making them absolutely free. I was showing the Idahoan and I did grab the Idahoan until when I got to check out scanning my coupons, I realized I purchased the wrong ones. So you guys will see when we get home that I did switch it out for the correct ones. Just make sure you're buying the Hungry Jack variety at a dollar and that coupon will just make them completely free. I went ahead and grabbed two today. So these corn brand meatless chickens, you can get whichever variety you want. We have tons of Ibotta rebates to pair up with whichever one you choose. I'm going for the chicken cutlets. They are a part of the extra savings sale at $3.99. I'm gonna pay that out of pocket, but submit back to Ibotta for $2 back. I also had a couple of 10 cent any brand meats attached to this, but overall it should be about $1.99 for this and tracks towards my bigger bonuses I'm working on. New Publix Digital Freebie is on this tapache drink. I hope I'm pronouncing that right, but just make sure you clip that free tapache digital coupon in your Publix app and it'll come off of the register, making it completely free. The soft scrub cleaners are buy one, get one free at $3.29 this week. We do have a $2.50 off to digital coupon you wanna go ahead and clip. Now, mine did not apply to my purchase. I'm guessing because I grabbed the multi-surface variety, I'd probably just go for the original like abrasive cleaners and see if that attaches. But if it did, it would make both of them 79 cents or 40 cents a piece. 
My friend Save with Steph over on Instagram shared this deal on her Instagram, I believe a couple days ago, and I was like, I have to carry this deal into this week because it's so good. And I've been wanting to get my hands on some Nine Elements bathroom cleaner. So they are $4.99 each. I'm going to grab two. I have a buy one, get one free paper coupon from the December PNG. We also have this buy one, get one free coupon as a digital form in the Publix app. Now sometimes buy one get one digitals do glitch with each other if you have the paper coupon and then the digital clipped in your Publix app. So she did confirm it was glitching so I'm going to go ahead and grab both of these today and hopefully they will end up being free. Y'all it's almost exhausting how often we get these Airwick plugs for free but when they're making us a little money that's a different story. So these two count Airwick warmers that are $2.79 we have a free Airwick Twin Warmers digital coupon in the Publix app. It takes off the value of $3. So this will be completely free and give you about 21 cents in overage to apply to the rest of your cart. Y'all, it has been forever since I've seen my store have the Cetaphil Baby Wash and I am so stoked they have it today. So shout out to Saving with Sarah for mentioning the Cetaphil printable coupon that you can grab on the Cetaphil website. If you do a little questionnaire, they will email you a $2 printable coupon that you can print up to two times. So we're going to go ahead and use two of those today to grab some Cetaphil Baby Wash. They are $5.49 each. We're also going to use a 6 off 2 Cetaphil Skin Care Extra Save savings book coupon in conjunction with those two $2 printables making both baby washes 98 cents or about 50 cents each. It literally seems like every time I run out of creamer the Chobani creamer deal comes back and I love it. So Chobani creamers and their oat milk is buy one get one free at $3.99 this week. So I'm going to grab one of the creamers and one of the oat milks. So for the creamer, I have a $1 digital coupon and then a $1 digital for the oat milk as well. I'll pay $1.99 and submit the checkout 51 for a dollar back on the creamer and then a dollar back on the oat milk. And then I'll submit to Ibotta for $1.50 back on the oat milk, making both of them completely free and a $1.51 money maker. So if y'all remember last week, I was looking for the Oikos blended yogurt because we do have a free Publix digital coupon that'll take off the value of it at the register. I found some in like an end cap refrigerated area in my store and they were marked down on clearance for 75 cents each. So I went ahead and grabbed it intending, you know, that that coupon take off 75 cents but there was some trouble with it at self checkout that I will explain later. I'm pretty sure this is the right yogurt and it is like the one that's pictured in the um, digital coupon on the app, the strawberry. So I don't know what happened to it, but if you have any insight on that digital coupon, please let me know. I don't know what the deal is with it. I'm gonna grab one of these Breakstone Sour Creams. They are actually buy one, get one free at $1.97 this week. But since my store does honor half BOGO, I'm gonna grab just one at 98 cents. I'll submit to Ibotta for a dollar back, making it completely free and another offer towards my bonuses. This is kind of a splurge, but also to get me some Ibotta rebates. The Cracker Barrel cheeses are two for six this week. I'm gonna grab one of the slices and one of the blocks. I'll pay the $6 and submit to Ibotta. I have $1.25 back on the block and $1.25 back on the slices, making both of them just $3.50 or $1.75 each. That is everything I'm grabbing at Publix for this week. Like I mentioned in the beginning of the video, it is a slower sale week, but I definitely think there's a couple of deals here and there that may benefit your household. We're gonna go ahead and go to self-checkout and ring this all up and then take it all home to discuss the transaction receipts and final costs. Okay, so we are back home from Publix and I really like this haul, even though it's kind of a slower, shorter week. I still think there are some deals to be had if you are down to go. There was several hiccups today and I'm going to try to speed along and go through them because they are kind of lengthy. But one being I grabbed the Idahoan mashed potatoes instead of the Hungry Jack, which you see I ended up correcting myself. But I had got all the way to self-checkout, scanned all my products and was scanning coupons and it said that there was no match to my $1 coupons for the Hungry Jack. The cashier had come over and said, oh, you bought Idahoan. So 
<laughs> we avoided the Idahoan off and I went back and got the Hungry Jack and did that in a separate transaction, which you guys will see here. I literally paid nothing. It was just completely free. I had four cents to pay in tax, but hey, we saved $2.70 on some mashed potatoes. And I got the sweet potato variety and I believe the loaded ones. Whoops. Roasted garlic. I'm sorry. Roasted garlic and the sweet potatoes. I've never had instant sweet potatoes, so I'm very curious how that will taste. Other than that, issues, uh, hmm, I can't even think of them now that I'm filming, now that I turn on the camera. Oh, the Soft Scrub Digital Coupon did not apply for me. I do not know why. I'm guessing maybe I overlooked the verbiage, and if I did, I will have, like, the correct thing here on the screen, or correct myself here on the screen, but my $2.50 off two did not come off of this soft scrub i'm wondering because i've got the multi-surface variety i don't know the multi-surface one stuck out to me i was like well i can use that all the time so i don't know maybe it just doesn't attach to that saving with sarah had also mentioned yesterday when she filmed her haul that she had bought one of the chobani coffee creamers and one of the oat milks and the digitals only one applied which was for the oat milk not the creamer and she was thinking maybe it says in the verbiage on the digital coupon one per household per day and she's thinking because they're the same brand that sort of thing so i got a little nervous doing that but both the digitals attached for those products so we were in the clear with that the oikos digital did not apply and here is why it was on clearance i guess they're trying to sell them out of the store if you remember last week i was looking for them could not find them. I finally found them on like a refrigerated end shelf and it was a whole bunch of them clearance out. I guess they're just trying to get them off the shelf and clear them out. And when I got to the register, it was not ringing up. So she had mainly entered it. But when she manually did that, obviously like there was no coding or anything on it to indicate that a digital should attach to it. So you guys will see that on the receipt, but I did not get that for free. I ended up paying 75 cents for it. Other than that, there was no other issues. So the receipt, I will show you. We have all the north sides. Those Idahoans, we did end up voiding off, and you'll see that at the bottom. We have, let's see, pretty much everything. That Breakstone sour cream did ring up half BOGO because my store does honor that. The grocery food you see right there, that 75 cents, is for the Oikos. So when it says grocery food, I'm going to assume that the digital is not going to apply because it doesn't understand that that is the Oikos yogurt. And then um, I had also bought a tomato and onion, so we're taking that out of the total. I just needed that for my lunch today. Um, so all the vendor coupons, she went ahead and manually entered my nine elements one because it was a BOGO coupon. Then we have our extra savings book coupons for the Nor and the Cetaphil skincare. My vendor coupons, those two $2 coupons are for the Cetaphil. And then she did end up voiding my mashed potatoes, the Idahoan ones, because that's when I realized I bought the wrong thing. And then we have a $1 vendor coupon for the Nor. My nine elements did glitch. My air wet came off. The Tapache? Tapache? I don't think I'm pronouncing that right. That freebie did apply. And then both the Jabani oat milk and creamer did also apply. Those were the digital coupons, leaving my subtotal at $30.89. But that's including the onion and tomato I bought for myself. So it actually would come to $27.69 without those two products. From Ibotta, we got back a total of $7.45. We got back um, $0.10 cents any yogurt, several any meat brand item things attaching to the corn also we got back i believe it was two dollars for the corn a dollar for the breakstone sour cream back there a dollar 25 for that cracker barrel a dollar 25 for this one so 7.45 four dollars from checkout 51 for the coffee creamer a dollar for that a dollar for the oat milk two dollars for the galbani 202 from swag bucks for the galbani and then 79 cents from Fetch Rewards for the Noor sides. I got back 35 cents for every two I bought. And then some additional points for other brands. And then Shopkick. We got a total of 1,590 kicks today between scan and purchase because I did remember to scan my Galbani products. So that was a total of $6.36 we are waiting on from Shopkick. So in total, everything would have cost $67.44 today. Our final cost ends up being $7.07 or $0.33 cents per item. Not too bad, not too shabby. I can't complain about it. Definitely being under $10 is a very good price for me. 
Now, if I had my soft scrub digital come off and got that Wicos for free, it would have been $3.82. So that is a significant amount of difference there. But, hey, I mean, we got some nice expensive stuff today. This Cetaphil baby wash is 5 bucks each. I mean, the creamers are 3 bucks. The um, Nine Elements, like, I just... I can't be too mad when I know that, like I said, this would have cost $67 to the average person. So, yeah. I am very happy with it. Hopefully you guys found some deals in this video that you guys might want to consider and do before the public sale ends on Tuesday. In some areas, your sale may start Thursday and run through Wednesday. So, definitely just check in on that. But that is it for me today. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.